Welcome to the Art Zone. I'm Trina. Today we're going to create some arts and crafts. I'm so delighted and grateful you're here. In the Art Zone, you'll be inspired and encouraged to explore your artistic genius. In the Crafty Card Zone, join me, Marie, and we will be creative. I'm Melody. I'm a crafty kid in the zone. And later today, Bronson will take us to an artist studio. I'm Brian. Get your recycled materials ready. It's time to be resourceful. Hello, everyone. I'm Erin. It's time to use your imagination. Hi, I'm Havana. And I'm Deanna. Join us in Playtown. Let's get into the zone. Art zone. Art zone. In the in zone. zone. In the zone. Today we're in the zone with Melody. Hello everyone. What are we creating today, Trina? We're going to be sculpture making with homemade Play-Doh. Time to get your hands all gooey. To make homemade Play-Doh, you'll need three cups of flour, one and a half cups of salt, three tablespoons of oil, one cup of water, and one tablespoon of food coloring. We've got all our ingredients in the bowl already. All we need to do now is mix them. It's hard to mix. Do you want me to try? Sure. What color shall we make it? We can separate it into piles and add a different food coloring to each one. Um, how about yellow? Great. Yellow will be a great color for our dino. I'll have to make the neck and the tail stocky so the body won't wilt. Starting to look pretty good. I'll start making the legs. a feeling we won't use all the play-doh that we have here. I think you're right. We'll have leftovers for another project. Okay, let's see if it's big enough now. Mm, what do you think? I think it looks good. Okay. There's one. Once you have one, you can measure the other ones using the first one you made. legs on. All right. We can attach the legs. I've rolled the legs into cylinder shapes. Melody, mm -hmm. what else does our dinosaur need? Um, he needs toes. I'll roll some little balls for toes. Okay, and make them different colors. Okay. This is going to be a very colorful dinosaur. You 
don't have to make your dinosaur the exact same colors as ours. You don't even have to make a dinosaur if you don't want to. It's fun playing with Play-Doh. You can make it into any shape. How many toes do you think you should have? <laughs> I was just wondering, how many toes does a dinosaur have? And considering we're just making this up from our imagination, he can have as many toes as we like. Okay, well, let's take these two away and he can have three toes on each foot. Okay. What else do you think our dinosaur needs? Um, a backpack? Sort of. You're in the general area. Why don't we make some triangular plates and we can put them starting from the top of his back all the way down to his tail. Okay, I can do that. I'll start making the triangular plates. Okay. And make them in a different array of sizes. Okay. How big should they be? Well, maybe we'll have a big one at the top of his back and then gradually make them smaller, going either direction. Let's make them different colors, too. I think that's a great idea. Nothing in nature is exactly alike another, so it's okay if they don't look the same. I've got a little stick that I'm just going to use to help me put this into place. I'm gonna poke some holes in his head to make his eyes. Let's name our dinosaur Megan Stegen. That's a great idea. We can put our dinosaur in Playtown Playground. Where will you put your dinosaur? Odds are We're always finding packaging that can be used in different ways. I wonder where this came from. What can we make with it? How can we reuse it? Why should we save things like this? Do you have the answers? What kind of mystery is this? There's a picture of a screw right here on the container. Someone must have been repairing or building something. This plastic container is the best size for Playtown. You can lift the lid up and glue a piece of cardboard on top and you have yourself a chair. Or you can cover the whole container with pictures of toys and you have a toy box. There are so many things that we can create. It's just how you look at things. It takes energy to create all these recyclable materials. The energy comes from water, fire, earth, and air. Elements that we need to respect. What mystery materials can you find? Get down to Playtown. Playtown. We made Playtown out of many different recycled materials. It's fun owning your own town. Anything can happen in Playtown. Are you girls ready to get started on a new Playtown project? Are you set, Havana? Ready, set, let's start creating. Playtown. 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 We can make something for the ice cream parlor. Let's take a look to see what there is and how things were made. Here's some ice cream. It was made out of styrofoam. That seems easy. What else is in the ice cream parlor? Well, these are ice cream buckets, and it was made from an egg carton. What else is there, Havana? This is cool. Look at it. It's a giant ice cream cone made out of paper and sponge. Girls, what's missing from the ice cream parlor? More ice cream. And of course, more cones for the ice cream. Deanna, Havana, why don't you two go to the craft collection and get some crafty bits? Okay. Well, we can make ice cream scoops out of the styrofoam. How about this brown paper envelope for the cones? Good idea. Now, what about these bullets for the ice cream pails? Those lids will really look like pails. Let's go. 
Very nice selection of materials, girls. I can visualize them as ice cream cones already. I'm going to make different kinds of flavors out of the styrofoam with belts. Make one blue for bubblegum flavor. Mmm, 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 yummy. What about pink for strawberry? And brown for chocolate. I've got a lot of coloring to do. Better get busy. I'll draw a crisscross pattern on the brown paper envelope. If you don't have a brown paper envelope, you can use a lunch bag. I can help with that. I'll use a brown felt pen. We can cut some rectangular shapes out of this piece of paper. Cross pattern paper will look like this. Would you like me to help you put a dab of glue on that? Okay. All we need to do now is cut the peak off. And it's gonna look like this. Ready to make another one? Sure. To make this to be all clumpy and round, I just took some off, like this. Wow, those little cones look like the real waffle ones. Now all this cone needs now is some bubblegum ice cream. This cone looks good enough to eat yummy. We can make more cones out of the leftover pieces of paper. These ice cream cones are ready to put in the ice cream parlor. I scream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. What can you make for all to see? Reuse, create, show the way. The earth will love us every day. See you. Hey, did you do that again so I could see how it's done? Take a look again. We're going to take a look again at sculpture making with homemade Play-Doh. To make homemade Play-Doh, you will need three cups of flour, one and a half cups of salt, three tablespoons of oil, one cup of water, and one tablespoon of various food colors. What animal would you like to sculpt? We sculpted a stegosaurus. Form the body, neck, and head in one color of Play-Doh Roll four big circles of blue Play-Doh for the dino's legs. Make some colorful toes. Roll different color and sizes of Play-Doh for the plates. Pinch the plates and place on the back, neck, and tail. Don't forget to put smaller plates on the neck and the tail. Don't forget dino's eyes and smile. Make sure you let the sculpture dry. Megan Stegen is one rainbow dino.
Odds on. Hey kids, welcome to Art Zone. My name is Bronson and today we're going to visit an extraordinary artist. Are you with me? Okay, let's do this. Check it out. And there's busy traffic. See what's going down? I'll show you guys. Okay, now we're just looking for the Friendship Center. Okay, we're here now. All right. Are you guys ready up there in the Art Zone? I know I am. You guys are going to enjoy this, I'm telling you. Thanks for taking the time to come talk to us. No problem. Really appreciate it. Yeah. So uh, how did you get caught up in drawing in the first place? Uh, I used to sketch a lot when I was a kid, up until I was about 15. And then I uh, started doing uh, native design, Northwest Coast native design. I used to do sketches of like comic books and everything like that, and uh, people and pictures. And then when I was 15, I got a summer job car helping uh, carve a totem pole for my co-op. Um, by a guy named Jerry Sheena. I did that for a couple of years, and then a good friend of mine named uh, Mike, he taught me how to do Tsim Shian style design, and I've been doing it ever since. So is there anybody that inspired you, or did you just always have love for drawing? Well, a lot of my inspiration comes from uh, a guy named Robert Davidson and other master carvers that have been doing it for a long time and come up with such beautiful art. Did you go to school for it, or did it just come natural? Um, there's no, no real school for it, except for up in uh, Kassan. But down here, there's no real school for this type of art. You have to learn from other artists and stuff, take apprenticeships. Mainly, I just look, and look at books and pictures of other artists' work and see how it's done. And every so often, go talk with other artists and see how certain techniques and everything like that. Is this your newest project you're going working on right now? Yeah, it's a uh, shark drum with a raven. It's a shark right here and a raven it's kind of holding on to. And right here is kind of, it looks, it's blank, but um, I'm painting something on the back side afterwards. So when you shine a light through the back, it's the silhouette of that design on the back will shine through. It's pretty cool. So if you're gonna give advice to the kids at home about art, what, what would you say to them? Well, um, I would, I would say, well, mainly, for the most part, a lot of people try to get into this with uh, great expectations, but it's not for everybody. So mainly, I, I suggest that, I suggest that mainly take it as a hobby, but if you're serious, very, very serious into it, I, I'd say uh, go with it, go with it, what you love, because that's what I've done. So remember, kids, it's always important to follow your dreams and give an honest effort. You can be anything you want with a little drive and focus. And I'd like to thank you for inviting us over again. Really appreciate it. No problem. And I'll see you later. See you. Hey, can you do that again so I can see how it's done? Take a look again. We're going to take a look again at making ice cream and cones for the ice cream parlor. You will need brown paper, styrofoam, felts, and some sticky glue. Add colored felts to the styrofoam to represent different flavors. Draw crisscross lines on the brown paper to make waffle cones. Cut the paper into small rectangles. Roll the paper around your finger, then make one end pointy and glue into place. Trim off the peak. Add your flavored ice cream scoops to the cones. Who's next in line for an ice cream cone? Everyone loves to receive a card on special occasions. I always like to make my own. Cards are extra special when you make them yourself. Meaningful words can brighten up anyone's day. So let's get busy and make a special card. Today, we are going to be making a tea bag and a teapot card. Here's the shape of a teapot. Remember to keep your handle on the fold. You can color your teapot any color you want. I'm gonna color with every shade imaginable. You can fill in the native designs with any color that you want. What are the 
What other ones do you think would be look good in yellow? You can do all the circles in yellow. That would look nice. Orange? Yeah. Good choice. It's easier to draw the outline so you don't scribble. It's starting to look great, don't you think? It looks fantastic. I really like the colors you've chosen. Oh, thank you. My grandpa loves tea. Sometimes he goes out and he picks his own herbs. I've had swampy tea before. It's very tasty. Grandpa made fresh rose hip tea for me and it was good. We can put a rose hip tea bag in our teapot. We've made a pocket and then glued it onto the side of the teapot. You're doing very well. Well, thank you. I think orange would be a better color for the spout. Nice choice. This teapot is so beautiful. Doesn't it look real? Where is my cup? All we need is a tea bag. Here it is. Place that inside. Here is another card that we've made. A perfect card for my grandmother. Thanks for joining us. I hope you had fun creating with us in the art zone. Be good, be proud, and be respectful of the natural world. See you soon. <laughs> Just like John here. John? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Jimmy, my name is Jimmy. Jimmy. Holocton, or Rick Harry. Sorry, Be good. Be respectful of your mother. No more. Go, girls. Go, girls. Go, girls. Go girls, go Doki, go Doki. Odd zone, odd zone.